Okay, now I got the other half of the engine here. I'll show you there's a new piston right here, and that's those two ports, intake ports, and this part of the the skirt falls off, it breaks because if you get too much wear in the piston, or not in the piston in the bore. So basically you have to uh bore it out and put an oversized piston in. See I got a piece of paper there because I was or a piece of cardboard because I had it together once and I wanted to see if I could grind it out in there, grind this this other half out, and I felt I couldn't. So I'm still gonna leave this paper in here, this cardboard, little thin cardboard, until I'm done tacking it so I don't get nothing else inside. And this half, I don't want it dirty because this other side, I'm just I'm going to change the bearings and seal anyway. So I'll set her back up and put her together and make it work. I'm going to put a little engine oil on the shaft, the crankshaft. That's where the... Uh, bearings go so it'll make it easier for me to take it off and the machine face off so it doesn't uh, have any pieces on there to make it not seal properly I'm going to wrap this I'm gonna bring the piston down so it's not flopping around in this bottom bottom dead center I'm just wiggling back and forth from one side to the other, getting it started on the shaft. And we're going to have to use a little bit of a persuader. There it goes. And the reason why I have that rag on here, just so it's not jumping around and vibrating and Hitting it, hitting the piston. See, this engine was put together by a, another mechanic, and he couldn't figure out why it wouldn't run. And the reason why it couldn't run is because it blew a hole in the bottom of the crankcase, and it needs basically it needs a vacuum to pull in fuel. And it wasn't getting a vacuum because of uh, the big whole chunk in there that was broken off. And it's a 12 millimeter socket that works for this. I'm not going to torque it, I'm just going to snug them up. Looks like it's all fitting together nicely here. I'll just snug these up and I'll put the other piece on and the other chunk that's busted out. I'll put it on with a bolt because there's a bolt hole through it. It'll basically be positioned where I want it. Okay, now that I have the case on, 
and I have the other piece with the bolt going through. I took a little file here and I brought that down a bit because it was kind of indented there from the piston skirt when the crank weights came around. Tighten this bolt up here, hold it in place. Yeah, so now that it's in place here, it's going to sit flat too. I could see that. So it's going to work great. Then I can tack it in a couple spots so it stays where it's supposed to be. And then I'm going to uh, take this all off again and weld her up good. And if it doesn't work, what have I got to lose, right? At least they're going to try and make it work. It's a 25 year old machine. So, yeah, I think it's going to work like a charm. It's a 25 year old machine, so it's kind of hard to get parts for. I looked all over, I searched all over, and they want ridiculous price just for that little little piece there so I'm going to make it work as long as it's holding true and flat on, on, on this part here we can make it work this here will fill in all the way around that's my plan anyway Okay, so this piece here I'm going to have to fill, but the rest is all ready to weld in. Uh, just to fill a little bit of a gap, I put in a piece of aluminum welding wire and then I'll work it down here. Um, when I'm welding, I'm just going to tack, 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 and it'll fill that little bit of a spot. Okay, in the process of uh, setting up my tripod and my camera, I didn't press play or record. So, basically, here's the, the job that I did. Um, welded here, around the back, over here. I got to take this part of the case off and I can get these uh, mating surfaces built up and then I could just file them down nice and flat and true. Um, I'll have to drill out this hole uh, right here and the rest is all welded up. Uh, what I use to grind that off is a, a pencil grinder and it, I don't know if you can see, you see those little chunks there? It kind of fills the carbide burr. And what you do to clean that out, instead of picking it out with the O-ring pick or whatever, I just take a, a chunk of metal and I'll grind on it. I'll grind on it and it just gets rid of all the stuff. Anyway, this uh, engine will be running. I'll show a video of it after put together because with a two stroke, it mixes the fuel in the crankcase. And if you have a broken crankcase, which this one did because of the piston skirt breaking, which is common for the uh, two stroke Polaris Explorers, um, the piston skirt breaks off. And then it goes in the bottom and punches a hole either in this uh, case or the center case. This is where the the weight and the connecting rod turn around. It's the, where the rotating parts are. So it'll bust this case or this case out. In my case, in my in this instance, it broke this one out. Anyway, it'll work good. I will. What I have to do is take it off, build it up, file it down get uh, seal it all up put the engine back together and in and I'll show it running 
Sorry I didn't get the uh, actual welding video, but sometimes things like that happen when you don't know what you're doing. Here's the Polaris I've been working on. The engine had a hole in the crankcase. Well, actually, it busted a big chunk out. I'm going to give her a start now. Uh, I did have it running, but the video didn't work. Now I'm going to do it again. Thanks for watching.